Hello guys. Uh, today we are going to talk about narrative analysis. What is narrative analysis? Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mr. Al. Researchers use narrative analysis to understand how research participants construct story and narrative from their own personal experience. That means there is a dual layer of interpretation in narrative analysis. First, the research participants interpret their own lives through narrative, then the researchers interpret the construction of the narratives. Narratives can be derived from journals, letters, conversations, autobiographies, transcript of in-depth interview, focus script, or other types of narrative qualitative research and then used in narrative research. The researchers write their findings, then review and analyze them. To conduct narrative analysis, researchers must understand the background, setting, social, and cultural context of the research subjects. This gives researchers a better idea of what their subjects mean in their narrations. It's especially true in context-rich research where there are many hidden layers of meaning that can only be uncovered by an in-depth understanding of the culture or environment. Before starting narrative research, researchers need to know as much about the research subject as possible. They interview key informants and collect large amounts of text from them. They even use other sources such as existing literature and personal recollections. From this large piece of information, researchers choose a few instances they feel are good example of what they want to talk about and then analyze them in depth. Example of narrative analysis There are three types of narrative that we can analyze. The first type of narrative is topical stories. A restricted story about one specific moment in time with a plot, characters, and setting, but doesn't encompass the entirety of person's life. Example, a research participant's answer to a single interview question. The second type is personal narrative. Personal narratives come from a long interview or a series of long narrative interviews that give an extended account of someone's life. Example, a researcher conducting an in-depth interview or a series of in-depth interviews with an individual over an extended period of time. The third one is entire life story. Entire life story is constructed from a collection of interviews, observations, and documents about a person's life. For example, a historian putting together the biography of someone's life from past artifacts. Now, what is the difference between the narrative analysis with case study? There are some differences between two. A case study examines one context in depth, whereas narrative research explores how a subject has acted in various contexts across time. So here we can know that the case study examines one context in depth, the description of the events, but narrative explores how the subject or the actors acted in various contexts. Case studies are often longer and more detailed, but they rarely provide an overview of the subject's life or experience. Narrative analysis implies that researchers are observing several instances that encompass the subject's life, which is why it provides a richer view of things. Both tools can give similar results, but there are some differences that lead researchers to choose one or the other or perhaps even both in the research design, analyzing result in the narrative method. Storytelling is a central feature of narrative research. The narrative interview is an interactive conversation. This process can be very intimate and sometimes bring about powerful emotions from both parties. Therefore, 
this form of qualitative research isn't suitable for everyone. The interviewer needs to be a good listener and must understand the interview process. The interviewee also needs to be comfortable to be able to provide authentic narratives. Understanding what kind of research to use is a powerful tool for a manager. We can use narrative analysis in many ways. Narrative research is a multifaceted method that has the potential to show different results based on the researcher's intention for the study. Coding and narrative analysis. There are two coding techniques, inductive and deductive. The inductive analysis it is common for inductive methods of narrative analysis to cut much larger blocks of text than traditional coding methods. Narrative analysis differs from other qualitative analysis methods in that it attempts to keep the individual narratives intact. Narrative analysis threads a complete story as the individual piece of datum that you are analyzing. So, in the inductive method of narrative analysis, you should code the entire block of text for each of your research participant stories. This section of a text is called a narrative block. Entrance and exit talks. There are tricks to identifying narrative blocks in your research participant's narrative interview. Rizman recommended looking for entrance and exit talk. Your participant may give your verbal hints when they begin and end the story. A story may start with the phrases, There was this one time, let me give you an example, and I always remember when something. Likewise, you can detect the end of the stories with exit talk such as, So that's how that wrap up. That is a pretty classic example of and and that was the end of that. Now let's go to the deductive analysis. There are many existing story structure frameworks with a deductive method of narrative analysis. Researchers can use a story structure framework and as their initial set of codes. This can be as simple as beginning, middle, and end in doing narrative research. Patterson in 2013 used the following codes for his narrative structure. Abstracts, the core thesis of the story, orientation, time, place, situation, complicating action, sequence of event, plot, evaluation, how the storyteller comments on meaning, resolution, outcome of the story, coda, story's ending. Patterson's. Now it's the end of narrative analysis. Now we have a quiz. We have five quiz here, so to check your understanding about the narrative analysis, please do this assignment. Once again, narrative analysis is an alternative way to explore how the people or the actors play the role in the specific context or specific event. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much and find other videos here. Thank you so much for your attention. See you next time. Bye-bye.